When you're a teenager, it's normal to feel down sometimes, but if you feel really down for a long time, it could be depression or low mood. Depression can make you feel isolated and alone. It can feel like a constant empty ache or a sinking feeling. If this goes on for a long time, it's not just part of being a teenager. Depression can be caused by lots of different things, and it feels different for everyone. So how do you know if it's depression or low mood? You could be not feeling like yourself, feeling bad about yourself, or wanting to harm yourself, sleeping a lot and not wanting to leave your room. Getting up and dressed might just seem pointless. You could be not eating properly, feeling negative about everything, even things you used to really enjoy, not wanting to see friends or family, or feeling scared about going out. This kind of thing happens all the time. One in eight teenagers experience depression. It won't just go away on its own, but it can be fixed. <coughs> Telling someone might be difficult, but it's the start of getting better. Tell somebody you trust exactly how you are feeling. Think about who you feel comfortable telling. Maybe your parents or carers, another family member, a teacher you like, a close friend, or even call a helpline. You need to go and see a professional, for example, a doctor. Don't worry about being judged. When you talk to them, be honest, open-minded, trust them, tell them everything and take their advice. This way, you'll get the best help. They won't tell anyone what you have talked about unless they think that you are at risk. They may give you meds, take them exactly as prescribed. They don't work immediately and you may feel odd at first, but give it time and stick to them. Don't drink alcohol or take other drugs while you're on meds. This will just make you feel worse. You can really help yourself just by doing simple things. Start with something small and simple. You might need to force yourself. It may just be getting out of bed every morning and opening the curtains. It's a start. Build on this slowly at your own pace. Have a shower, get dressed, leave your room, maybe go out in the garden. Build up to going out. Try a walk to the shop or seeing a friend Stay away from negative influences and hang out with friends you have fun with or someone in your family you get on with. Keep doing it and you will keep getting better. Plan things to do. Think what you used to enjoy doing and try it again. Remember to treat yourself and remind yourself how well you're doing. Track your mood in a diary. Score one for bad, ten for very good. Try and get back into regular eating and sleeping routines. All of this takes time and can be very tiring, so take it in small steps and don't put too much pressure on yourself, but you might have to boss yourself about sometimes to keep doing things. It can take a while to get better and there'll be wobbles along the way. You need to make your own tactics for dealing with these and remember they're only hiccups. You could try listening to music, reading, having a bath, eating nice food, exercising, doing some art, anything you enjoy. Remember how far you've come and how much better you feel now compared to before. Don't feel bad about feeling bad. When you consider how complex our minds are, it's amazing the work at all.